channel. I'm Ella and today I'm going to be making a birthday cake for my sister's fifth birthday. I did one of these videos for her fourth and her third birthday so this is like a yearly event. She is the one that does all of the Mila tutorials on this channel and her birthday is in a couple days. For her third birthday I made her a Peppa Pig cake and it kind of looks horrific but I've improved. For her fourth birthday I made her an Elsa cake and this year she requested a cotton candy cake that tastes like cotton candy. So we're gonna try our best. Let's get on with the video. First we're gonna start with making the first we're gonna start by making the actual cake. You need two and a fourth cup of all-purpose flour, a couple teaspoons of baking powder, but we're not going to add any salt because I only have salted butter at the moment. Set this mixture aside. Get our favorite but very heavy stand mixer. I have here my salted butter. I literally have like three whole bags of sugar in the closet. Then the best ingredient, sugar, cream it together. Next, let's crack our eggs and add them in one at a time. To make it actually taste like cotton candy, we have this cotton candy flavoring. We bought it just for this cake. So. It smells like medicine, but we're going to add some in. Even though it doesn't say to in the recipe, I'm going to add just a tiny bit of vanilla because it always makes stuff better. Now we're just alternating adding in our flour and milk. I'm just going to try a little bit to see if it actually tastes like cotton candy. That is actually not too bad. We're going to separate this into three bowls. And dye one pink, one blue. That was a lot of food coloring. And one purple. I know purple isn't technically a cotton candy color, but it will make it even more beautiful. So we have three six inch pans and we're going to add just a little bit of each color. Look how cute these are. We're gonna put them in the oven for like 30 minutes. When the cakes are ready and now we're going to get them out of the pan. It's so beautiful inside. They look nice and I'll see you in a couple days when I decorate it. Here are the cakes. They are now frozen and we're going to start making the frosting and decorating them. Don't mind my face. It actually got sunburnt after being outside for like five minutes today. Get some softened butter and whip it until it's like nice and fluffy. Then we're going to sift in like two cups of flour. Did I say flour? Well, I meant powdered sugar. Sifting it is literally so fun. Just one tablespoon of milk and mix it again, but make sure it's on low because if it's not, then the powdered sugar will go everywhere. It says to put in another two cups, but we're just gonna do one for now. Some salt to try to even attempt to balance out the sweetness. I'm going to add a little bit of vanilla and then some cotton candy flavoring. This doesn't look like enough frosting, but we're gonna have to roll with it. Let's get our first beautiful layer, put on some frosting. We're gonna try to put the least amount of frosting possible. Put our next layer, and then put the last layer on top. I know it looks very brown, but that's just because it's like the outside. The bottom one looks way too big. I need to cut it. It actually didn't cut too bad, which I'm excited about. To make the crumb coat, we're just going to use a little bit of frosting I'm keeping the frosting white because it's just less work because this is only the crumb coat. Oh my gosh, the cake is like sliding around. Okay, I have to do something. The cake is literally sliding around. Um, I ran this thing under hot water, so maybe now it's gonna like smooth better. Kind of working. You cake, I'm gonna throw you out of the window. Okay, this is the best it's gonna get for right now. We're gonna put it in the fridge and dye the frosting. There's not enough frosting. So we made a little bit more frosting. We're gonna put half into this bowl and dye it bright pink. Beautiful. And then dye the other one bright blue. Then we're gonna get these disposable piping bags and put each of them in. This space is a complete mess, but I'm just trying my best to get it done before Mila comes back inside. With the frosting, we're just going to pipe little dots all around the cake with each color and then i'm just going to try to like smush them all together and see how it turns out this is my first time doing anything like this 
So I'm just really hoping it comes out okay. Now the blue. This frosting actually came out a pretty good consistency. This is actually so fun to do. This is the moment of truth. We're gonna get this and smush it all together. I don't know why I keep on saying smush it all together, but we're just gonna kind of like go like this. Okay, let's try it. Oh wait, that actually looks pretty nice. I'm going to add a couple more dots to like the blank spaces so I can just get it all covered. This is how it came out. And I don't have to worry about the top as much because we're gonna put actual cotton candy on top. This frosting came out so great. I'm actually so happy right now. I made a little swirl. People do this thing where they go like this and like kind of like take out some of it. Oh my gosh, I'm like such a baker right here. This is how it came out and this is the top of it. It actually looks kind of good. It's not meant to be like so clean and perfect. It's pretty beautiful here. And I'll see you tomorrow when I put some cotton candy on top and give her the cake for her birthday. Here's the cake. We put some cotton candy on it. I want a piece of it. <laughs> what? Why are you staring at me? What? Rila. <laughs> okay, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, subscribe. Like. Do you guys like the shirt Mila picked out for me to wear for her birthday? And look what I got for my birthday. Oh, wow. I also like that one. <laughs> oh, she liked the cake, right? Yes. It was very sugary, but was still good. But, like, what else would you expect from a cotton candy cake? came out amazing. Subscribe for Mila's birthday, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Wait, so you made a video for my birthday? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting! <laughs>